Okay, we're back again. We'll look at the second video on multiplying monomials and polynomials. Again, this is just distribution again of your property you learned in Unit 1, Section 1. So we're just going to continue that. It looks like we have a number and a variable. Here's just a number by itself at the end, so a couple of easy ones to end the day. And these distribute, distribute, distribute all by multiplication so don't forget that so now we have 4d times 6d squared 4 times 6 is 24 then d times d squared is d to the third power plus now next term 4d times 9d that's going to be 4 times 9 is 36 and d times d is d squared plus 4d times 2 so 4 times 2 is 8 and then make sure you have your d at the end and there we go all done number 7 8c times 7c and 8c times 3k 8 times 7 is 56. C times C is C squared. Plus, 8C times 3K. 8 times 3 is 24. C times K. Okay, just bring your variables right along and put them right next to each other. Okay, number 8. 2Y times the first term. 2y times the second term and 2y times the third term. Okay? 2y times 5y squared is 10. Y times y squared is y to the third power. Minus, don't forget your minus sign, 2y times 9y, 18y squared. Then 2y times 3 is 6y. Final answer. Number 9 and 10 are going to be easier ones. We don't have really a variable out front to worry about. So just 5 times 6n and 5 times 9. So 5 times 6n, 30n plus 5 times 9 is 45. Okay, all done. And last problem for the worksheet, 9 distributed to everything inside, so 9 times 6 is 54, don't forget your variable Z, plus 9 times 4 is 36. Alright, all done. Uh, notice again, all three of the, or all five of these terms, uh, you cannot simplify any further because each term is different, that they call it unlike terms. And they're always separated by either a plus or a minus sign. All right. Great. Good luck on your next worksheet and the ones on your own. Take care.